in giger and marston experiment we have seen that there is a scattering of alpha particles that was done in the previous lecture now we will uh, see certain details of the scattering number 1 how scattering happens these are the alpha particles let us assume magnified and so many alpha particles are moving towards the nucleus here is the small nucleus now alpha particles having certain electric charge and that electric charge is equal positive in nature and it is equal to 2e that is for the alpha particles okay now nucleus as per our assumption is having all the positive charges of the atoms at one place so positive to positive there will be repulsion now because of that repulsion there will be a force and the force of repulsion is this much and it depends upon the distance closer is the distance smaller is the distance more will be force in that case if this alpha particle is going in this path this is the uh, we can say distance then for this particle this is the distance that means this is away and this is closer this is away this is much more away there will be one more much more away so farther it is the distance is more and the force will be less on which one the force will be maximum the one which is coming in its line here the force is slightly less but sufficient to reflect it back so this will go like this and it gets reflected similarly this goes like this and gets reflected okay more than 90 degree now this alpha particle which is slightly away than this will experience less force because of the less force the deflection is less and it goes this way and it goes this way this one is far away and that goes straight without deflection this is how things are scattered the one which is closer is deflected more the one which is slightly away is deflected less and one which is far away is go is going undeflected now there is a term as impact parameter if it is going here there is a chance of impact with the nucleus and what is that parameter the distance between the distance between normal distance between path of a alpha particle and the nucleus the normal distance between path of the direction of the alpha particle and the nucleus this distance is known as impact parameter p1 and p2 are impact parameters okay so here we can write what is impact parameter this is impact parameter now this is done now we come to another alpha particle which is going just in the straight line in the line of nucleus as if it is going to hit it the moment the distance become less moment the distance become less the force become high very high so it keeps the force become high 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 and one location comes when the force is so much that it gets reflected back in physics what do we say that situation the answer is here this alpha particle has got certain kinetic energy there is a force because of that force in opposite direction the velocities keep on decreasing retardation is there force is there in this direction 
So, velocity is in this direction, acceleration is in this direction. So, velocity goes on decreasing. Decreasing, 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 but still it has velocity. So, it does not return back. It keeps on moving. Then, velocity becomes 0 at this point and it returns back. You can ask a question that why it does not go and hit it? Because here the force becomes so large, the acceleration in opposite direction becomes so large, this force is equal to ma. This acceleration becomes so large that it makes the velocity 0. Because we know final velocity is equal to u minus a t if it is a retardation. So, it becomes 0 here and the force becomes very, very great. Okay. But we can consider, we can imagine that if this velocity is so large, so much energy is there, how velocity is related to energy? This large energy, large velocity. If this velocity is so high that before it makes it zero, it goes and hit it, it is possible. But so far, we could not get an alpha particle with that much energy which will go and hit it. So, the alpha particle going in its direction is finally repelled back because if this distance is very small, if this distance approaches zero, then force become infinity. With that infinite force, it push it back. So, here there is a large force. Now, here it has certain velocity because of the energy. This velocity goes on decreasing, decreasing. At a certain point, this velocity becomes zero. And then because of this force, it is reflected back. At that time when it is reflected back, there was certain distance between nucleus and alpha particle. No alpha particle, no alpha particle can go to a distance less than this. From any direction, no alpha particle of this kinetic energy can go at a distance less than this. So, it has approached nucleus up to this minimum distance. So, this distance has been given the name minimum distance of approach or closest approach. This phenomena is what? Closest approach and this is the distance of closest approach. D is distance of closest approach. From here it is reflected. From here it is reflected back. At this point all kinetic energy convert to potential energy. Yes, all kinetic energy convert, all kinetic energy used because V has become 0. But there is lot of force here. So, under force this particle is having a potential energy. So, all the kinetic energy at this point has been converted to potential energy at this point. K E is equal to P E at this point. This will help us in further calculations. Okay. So, this is the distance of closest approach. So, we have learned two terms here. One is impact parameter, the distance and other is the distance of closest approach. This dis at this distance of closest approach, the kinetic energy become 0. What is the force at this answer? This is the force formula. What is the energy formula? Okay. Energy formula is, uh, we know for two charges, the energy formula is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 upon r. By using that formula, we will try to find out what is this distance. Actually, if we are using gold here, 
if we are using a alpha particle here whose kinetic energy is known to us okay that we will try to find out in the next lecture and that will help us that help rutherford to find out the approximate size of nucleus otherwise we never knew whether the size is 10 to the power minus 10 minus 11 minus 12 minus 15 minus 20 what so that we will do in the next lecture thank you